Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again. Well, I'm here on a very uh, blustery day up on Dartmoor. I'm at Horns Cross and here to take some photos. So it's only a short walk from the car park at Coombstone Tor up to the cross, but it's so cold and windy, I brought all the, uh, the right gear with me. It's very windy, the tripod I've got the camera on is trying to fall over. But the idea was, even though it's very overcast, I was hoping the sun was gonna come up over there behind the cross and I could get some uh, nice photos, maybe even some reflections in these pools with the cross silhouetted against the sky. And then I was going to have a look around the rest of the uh, moor here and just see what else we could find. Well, I'm hoping you can hear me in all this wind. It's a bit cold up here and settings wise, really, I don't know what I'm doing right at the moment. Just trying to get something. It's very overcast as you can see but the sun is just lighting the clouds up in the distance there. So we're trying to get low, use the reflections in these pools, hoping to get some of that light in there, get the cross in. <laughs> yeah, let's see what this looks like this time of the morning. Just concentrating on surviving out here to be honest. But well, I think you can see the sort of shot I'm trying to get. When I first arrived, obviously I concentrated on just the photographs. So now the sun's gone and I'm filming, but I'll show you the shot anyway. You can see what I'm trying to get with the uh, pool down below. I was trying to get some reflections in that and the cross, as you can see, silhouetted against the background. I'll show you the settings when I show you the photographs because it was uh, panic mode as you get here, you see the sun and uh, just have to get on with it. Very cold, fingers not working very well so I think I used a variety of settings. My original idea was to get a long exposure with the clouds going past but there really isn't that much definition in them. It'll just turn into a, a white sky I think. Never mind, if the cloud does break up a bit I might come back here and see what I can get. But as you can see, it's very, very windy. So I've called this uh, week's video zero effort because I'm only about five to ten minutes walk from a car park. And all I had to do was a little planning. I knew the cross was there and the potential for the silhouettes against the sky. I was hoping for the sun to come up and with the storm coming in I knew there might just be some good conditions. So the sun just lasted for probably less than five minutes and although there was a bank of cloud on the horizon there was just enough light to get these photographs. So I'm using a 16 to 55 mil Sony lens at one quarter of a second, ISO 50, down low on a tripod to keep it nice and steady.
Oh, well, that's better. Back in the car for a bit. It's about an hour after sun rise now, so um, obviously spent an hour up there by the cross and slowly walked back, took some pictures of uh, some trees. Every now and again the cloud seems to break up a little bit. But uh, Storm Isha is on its way and you can really feel the wind now. The uh, car is actually buffeting a bit sitting here in a car park. Anyway, what I thought I'd do next is have a coffee and a bite to eat and then I'm just going to wander around the Coombstone Tour here and hopefully get some nice foreground and some dramatic skies. If I don't get blown away. Well, I've braved it and left the car. Really starting to get windy now. Pointless having a tripod. It's just too windy. There'll be too much vibration in it. So just hand holding the camera and trying to get subjects like this uh, tree with some nice foreground rocks or something and trying to capture the dramatic sky. I'm not going to be able to stay here too much longer, I don't think. So what settings have I got? I've got it at 1 25th of a second at the minute, uh, F9, I say 200, just had to put it up a little bit because of how overcast it is. And uh, yeah, we're trying something like that. Not as much foreground interest as I would have hoped in this, but there are some nice elements to this, the tree obviously and the sky coming out from the back of the photograph. The rocks around the uh, tree look nice as well, balanced. The larger ones on the left and because they're in the distance the smaller ones on the right with the tree in the middle. There's a very windswept, oh, that's so cold, I can't speak. There's a very windswept tree just over there. Let's go and have a look at that one. So as with the other tree, I've come around so that I'm looking into where the sun should be. Gives me some better highlights in those clouds and allows me to uh, bring out the detail a little more. The wind was really starting to bite now and uh, I think you can just see that this is slightly slightly out of focus could have been a sharper image this one I really like again I'm going back to black and white and I just like the the tree itself how it's twisted I've called it bound when I filed it into my uh, catalogue just looks like someone's bound into that tree by a spell and they're casting some sort of uh, curse on the rocks. Well, I think I'm going to have to call it a day. I've had to come behind these uh, rocks just to shelter out of the wind. Even hand holding the camera is quite difficult now up here. So before the wind gets too strong and trees start to come down and I can't get back off the moor. I hope you enjoyed the video. A bit short probably this week and I don't know whether any of the photos are any good right now. But still lovely to be on. If you did like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you all again somewhere next week. But for now. Cheerio!